Cause God to reign on now Ministry in the world of life To the weak to give them strength To the blind to make them see True Christ who strengthens me I am something, I am a light A royal priest to lonely nation Hear of God So call me kingdom time you're welcome again to Kingdom Stars on Ogongo TV. Kingdom Stars is a show where you meet different drama ministers as they discuss about themselves. They share their testimonies with us. Please, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Yes, do that now. Subscribe now. And click the notification bell so that anytime we upload anything new, you will see it. I also want you to like our videos because if you subscribe to this channel and you click the notification bell and you like my videos and share them, it's an encouragement. So encourage me by doing this. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Yeah, to the business of the day, Kingdom Stars. Our guest on today's program shall be okay my name is ibitoye tolu and me blessing um i hail from ocean state I am the firstborn of my family. I am a, I'm a master's graduate of adolescent psychology and youth counseling from University of Ibadan. My growing up was <laughs> was a mixed mixed experience. Yeah, I had some experiences while growing up that at some point made my parents feel like, ah, what's wrong with this girl? You we taught in the way of the Lord. Okay, it was just looking like everyone was not being understanding around me. I was so withdrawn to my shell because it was looking like no one seemed to understand me and being a choleric adolescent it was tasking for me and even my parents. Um, so growing up was interesting at some point because I was I was brought up like into the hands of the Lord and in the way of the Lord. So that's how I grew up. So I've always been a church girl from childhood. It amuses a lot of people that I have never been in a drama group, even up to um, my fellowship back then in UI while I was running my master's degree. But then somehow, somehow I found myself in the circle of drama ministers and I can specifically say that that was true um, Sister Omolara Ayola PMH. Being a member of a foundation, I got so close and acquainted with her and We've been working together since like 2019, thereabouts. And that was how I started getting to meet a lot of drama ministers, a lot of ministers I've always seen on screen. And before I knew what was going on, I got so uh, familiar with the family and it was like, oh, I've been in drama ministry for a very long time. And that was just it. Okay, 
Okay, I must sincerely say that I haven't encountered something or anything that looks like a challenge, possibly because I learned, I studied how to tackle challenges before, tackle issues before they become challenges. So possibly that's the reason I've not seen anything as being challenging to me. So I will say that I haven't really encountered challenging moments in drama ministry. Um, my hobbies, because I have more than one hobby. I enjoy listening to music. That's what gives me life. And in fact, my my playlist is always on action because most times even when sleeping, I'm still listening to music. It's what gives me life and inspiration. Yeah, I love acting actually, because even my life is, dramatic <laughs> so to an extent i love acting i see it as a passion and what i love doing i love reading as well because i'm so curious to learn new things and know more so i love reading and at my leisure uh, i have books ebooks handy on my phone then i love baking I love baking. I love baking. I am a baker, yeah. I'm a baker by excellence, and that's what I actually do to make money. <laughs> that's a business part of me. I love baking. No matter how tired I am, no matter what I'm doing, the moment I get orders, I don't mind baking all through the night and getting to carry on with other activities the following day. So, those are my hobbies, per se. I could actually be a very busy person, very busy person. Um, I could be so involved in a lot of activities. Um, aside from drama ministry, like I said earlier, I'm a baker. And yeah, we pray God takes us to the next level in everything we do. So each level comes with its own task and, and it's... Um, responsibilities so then I go for ministrations at times I follow Mrs. Lara um, Lara Yola as well to ministrations I'm also a volunteer at a foundation I do a lot of things and I have a lot of things I'm doing I write I so getting to relax at times it has to be a deliberate effort for me to actually get to relax because <laughs> the body the body is the container that carries the vision and everything the dream God has packaged in also it's a deliberate effort for me to relax and the best way I relax is to listen to music and also to read and I sleep off from there is actually when I get to impact lives. Yeah, I'm a sexual abuse advocate and somehow it gives me joy doing that. I derive joy. I am always happy when I see um, victims coming out of their shell. I'm always happy when I see people fulfilling purpose. It gives me joy, like it thrills me and it makes me feel like, yeah, I am making impact and I am fulfilling purpose. My saddest moment, I can't really unpick um, the saddest moments I have had or possibly God has not made me encounter or have sad, a sad moment, uh, a saddest moment. But you know there could be sad moments and you feel like so one of them is when I get to come in contact with 
some people who have been molested and listen to their stories and as a counseling psychologist you get to see a lot of issues a lot of issues that people come up with and be like so right on this head a lot of people go through some of these things so those could be but as we are trained we shouldn't show those sympathy we should just be empathic and but you get back to your closet and you think about it that, ah so people go through these things but then you pick up again and move on it's part of life's challenges Okay, I've featured in a number of movies, though I started acting per se, 2021, January, to be specific, and I've featured in over 10 movies. I've featured in movies like um, Resolute Hearts, Ife Baba, um, Blizzards, Omo, Lola, to mention but a few, I can't really mention every of the movies are featured in, but they are well over 10. My first experience facing the camera, okay, I was called upon by um, Mr. Lubenga, your life's image, to come shoot some skits with um, and I okay it was an episode skits I didn't really see there was anything serious then actually because it was like short short skits in different about five six episodes but the first movie I featured in I played the lead role and that movie was Aguadaju yeah I played the role of a twin sister alongside um, Olatunde Omowumi and we were the main character, main cast and it was, it was overwhelming uh, and well a lot of people found it difficult to believe that I had not been in a movie location or had not been involved in a movie production as tedious because it was actually a tedious one but interesting movie shoot. It was tasking because that was the first time I would be going on set for a movie as long as that, over a week long movie production. And it was, well, it wasn't difficult for me to flow. I got used to it and I moved on from there. I have a lot of favorite songs, um, you know, mostly songs that talks about the love of God. You know, when you've wondered at some point in your life and the love of God keeps um, bringing you back and um, it makes you want to hear more about the love of God. It makes you want to talk about the love of God and that's why I loaded my phone with a lot of love songs for God. Songs that, songs like Reckless Love. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the night in night. I couldn't help it, and I don't deserve it. Still, you gave yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Looking at the lyrics, it talks about the love of God. Even when we do not deserve it, he still decided to leave the 99 sheep behind just to come after the lost one. So. Okay, in the next few years to come, um, I want a lot of things to be said about me. Of course, I want to be a woman of impact, 
by then i hope to own my um counseling psychology clinic um the next few years from now i hope to have impacted a lot of lives more lives and the next few years from now in drama ministry i hope to have gone far i don't mind if it takes me taking um different courses that are related to drama ministry because i discovered that i have found purpose in, and i am still finding purpose in drama ministry so i in the next let's say five years from now i, I want to believe i would have gone far i would have gone far from where i am so i want to encourage you to keep on watching kingdom stars on ogongo tv thank you I was called to reign on now, ministry in the world of life. To the weak to give them strength, to the blind to make them see, through Christ who strengthened me. I am something, I am a light, a royal priest to lonely nation, a hear of God. So call me kingdom time. I am something, I am a light, a royal priest to holy nation, a near of God, so call me kingdom star. He has promised me to be my shield, a dwelling place, and my help. I will wait on him till the end and carry his glory ever. Promise me to be my shield, a dwelling place, and my help. I will wait on me till the end 